Hi Leo, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of February 15th to the 21st, 2021. And I do want to take this moment to remind you as always like this video, leave me a comment and do subscribe to this lovely channel uh, if you haven't already. And don't forget that little notification bell. Now when meditating on your energy overall for the week, the message that came through was as doors start to open, as doors start to open. And um, when putting uh, music on a shuffle to speak upon your week, Spirit chose the song uh, All Star by Smash Mouth. Um, I think they're trying to remind you that you're an all star. Um, but the lines that stood out were uh, so much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? And then uh, you'll never know if you don't go. You'll never uh, shine if you don't glow. All right. So I think they're just reminding you to live your life, my friend, to um, let yourself shine this week. So to begin, we're going to pull a couple messages from the Starseed Oracle deck. Keep in mind, general reading for the sign of Leo for the week. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and check your other placements. For our lovely Leos, thank you, Spirit. For the 15th to the 21st of February, 2021. Thank you, Spirit, for our lovely lions. Okay. First, we have I'm sorry. Defenselessness, writing past wrongs, uprooting. There's a sense, Leo, that you, the universe and spirit is righting certain wrongs that have been done to you, that have happened in, in the recent past for you, or even just further back. But either way, it feels like you're... The doors opening for you this week, things that do end up happening in a positive light are all because of what you've been through. The things that people have put you through or situations have put you through. Those wrong, wrongs are being righted this week and moving forward. Very nice. And then we have, um, ooh, star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. Wow. It feels like you are being given a sense of clarity, some blanks filled in about your future, about what you're meant to achieve in this lifetime. And there's also a sense that this week, some hidden secrets may resurface, whether it's with people from your past, people in your current situation, um, people trying to prove to you that they're trustworthy. They're reminding you or pushing you to look a little bit deeper. Okay, investigate. And the third and final one is perspective. None of this matters, zoom out, common ground. <clears throat> There's also a feeling with this card that you will have a sense of maybe chaos or immaturity um, I want to say dissatisfying behavior from others around you. Um, I want to also say it's stemming from a feeling of jealousy on their end. But they're saying to zoom out, keep your vision on the larger image, the larger vision. None of that matters, okay? None of it. Letting any sort of immature or unnecessary drama fall to the wayside as you reach and aim for bigger uh, and better things, my friend. Let's continue. We're going to pull uh, seven tarot cards, one for each day of the upcoming week. Our lovely lions are Leos. Thank you, Spirit, to continue this weekly read. Wow. <clears throat> Keep them coming for Leo. And um, for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm a Leo son, so um, I just love your readings. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, you are showing up in your reading. All right, we're pulling the last three right from the top of the deck. So my friend, we're starting off Hermit. There might be a, you might feel like spending time within your own energy this week. It may be the best time to get some of this clarification, um, these answers filled in, or simply you just are trying to get away from all of the drama or chaos or whatever it may be in your particular situation. So on Monday, we start off with the page of Pentacles in reverse. 
It feels like Leos recently have been waiting patiently for their ships to come in, right? For things to start working out for you to fall into place as they should. And Monday, you're given a reminder that your financial situation will be improving rapidly. It being side by side with the I'm sorry card, it's like, if there's a potential somebody could try to apologize to you on this day from the past if they, you know, treated you unfairly. But for the most part, it feels like Monday's a day where they want to start off the week on a strong note, reminding you that the wrongs in your past are being righted in the form of abundance, in the form of prosperity, uh, giving you a hint, a reminder that you have financial sex success ahead for you on the horizon. Leaving you feeling more excited, more passionate, and moving on to Tuesday, feeling like you need to celebrate. Also feeling a bit more balanced too. Allowing yourself to be one with these changes and adjustments because, and you have been recently, right? And it's all leaving you with a newfound perspective. And, you know, of course, like the overall message says, doors are literally starting to open for you. And we make our way to Wednesday and that first door starts to open. We have the Emperor card, which is all about um, planning for your future, strategically, analytically, planning for your next move, uh, but more with more hope, with more um, optimism than you would have in the past, right? Just having this inner knowing that things are going to work out. And Wednesday, spirit comes through, the universe comes through and opens up that first door for you, whether that's a new job, whether that's um, a business opportunity, a chance to enhance your career in one way, shape, or form, or a new opportunity for a side hustle. It feels like for some of you, Leo, somebody's reaching out through what you've been, because they saw you from what you've been working on recently, and they want to work with you. Or they want to connect you and somebody else somehow. And you need to realize that a lot of this that's coming to you is not only because of your hard work and dedication, but it's because you're shining these days. It's because you're guided and protected. All right? Your spirit guides are protecting your destiny. And then remember I said you showed up in your reading? You make your way to Thursday and you're feeling amazing. Feeling like all of this hard work is starting to pay off. Things are starting to fall into place. Doors are starting to finally open. And you're realizing that whatever has been a bit of a struggle for you recently is all leading towards two better things, bigger and better things. And then you even have this gut feeling, this inner knowing, or you might be reminded at this point in the week that this door that's opening or that did on Wednesday, there are more doors to be open. There are more opportunities to come for you, okay? Your success is unlimited at this point. Wow. And it just, it's all leaving you feeling just more like yourself more like who you were meant to be all along, right? Feeling like you've been evolving and working on yourself on an inner level for a long time. And so people might look at you and be like, well, what the hell did Leo do to open up that door? A lot, a lot behind the scenes. So don't judge, all right? And I know you can relate. Seven of Swords to move right along. And so you make your way to Friday and there's this feeling that you don't wanna tell anybody what's going on. This, these doors that are opening for you, these chances that you're getting to transform your life, to build an empire for yourself, if you will. The past has taught you to keep your mouth shut, right? Or to tell very few people, uh, those who have learned you can trust in the past, because even people you have thought you could trust have proven otherwise. And so you've come so far with, you know, thinking about all of the hard work, the inner work, <clears throat> the dedication to your work and career so it's like why would you want to kind of risk all of it or these doors opening risking them shutting in your face because you tell the wrong person or the wrong group of people do you see what i'm saying and being side by side with the star ancestors card um there's also a sense that there this is a day where secrets will start to resurface and so they're asking you to look a little bit deeper when certain people are trying to ask you what's going on Sensing that big changes are on the horizon for you, um, wanting to know more, look deeper within yourself as well. Um, asking yourself, can you really trust them? Is this really a good choice? Because you, it's a safer bet to keep your mouth shut. Being aligned with the Page of Pentacles, they're saying, 
the more you're you're able to reevaluate who and what situations deserve to know what's going on in your life or your next moves, you're going to see more and more financial comfort. Um, but also just keep that in mind when a lot of thoughts are happening at this point in the week because you know, you're thinking about who can I tell, who can I not? Um, you know, these secrets resurfacing, which is also kind of bringing up a new sense of, well, who the hell can I trust at this point, you know? But there's also a feeling that Leo's just are going to be in the spotlight this week. Soul connections, family, uh, fans, I feel like, uh, clientele. Anyways, hangman to move on. A hangman or woman. So you move on to the Saturday to start the week, and there's a need for you to adjust your perspective. On your future, on your success, it's like you, Leo, go from feeling so confident, so hopeful about how things are meant to unravel, knowing you're going to succeed, and then you allow a little um, obstacle or, you know, simply the downtime when you could potentially overthink to leave you doubting things once again. And they're saying you need to make it more consistent, this hopeful, optimistic way of being, because you are meant to be one successful lion. Being in line with the four of wands, yeah. You need to adjust your perspective and realize that there's more celebration, more balance, more success on the horizon for you. And then the star card. So you make your way to finish up the week on Sunday and there's a feeling that there's more healing to be done from what you've been through. I mean, naturally when secrets are resurfacing this week and you're thinking about trust and making huge life changes and, and transformations, you have to of course, there's going to be a little bit more healing to do, right? And it's all out of respect for what's to come, to not taint any sort of success on the horizon. But also, Leo, don't be surprised if you end the week feeling more connected to spirit and universe. Some of you may be enhancing or working on certain spiritual gifts of yours. Being in line with the Emperor card, they're saying, at this point in the week when you almost feel a bit dreamy, daydreamy, um, maybe even a bit spacey as you're sort of trying to heal and thinking back on all you've been through in this week and in general, Think about how effective this planning was when you were clear-headed, when you didn't have all these emotions, you know, in the way because at the time they weren't resurfaced. Think about how immediately this left you feeling like yourself again or like who you're becoming, a happier, more joyful, ecstatic version of you, who you're meant to be, which also reminds me on another level to keep removing or walking away from situations that strip away uh, that sun within you that fire. Uh, what am I doing? We're going to finish this off by pulling a message or two from the Find Your Happy Deck. For our lovely Leos to finish off this weekly read. Perfect. My life gets better by chance, not by chance. By change, not by chance. Excuse me. It, truly true, my friend. Reminding you that you have been stepping up and making these adjustments and changes for a while. And that doesn't exclude what you've been doing within the inner work. And so keep that in mind that you moving forward will have to continually continue to make these changes and not just hope for things to get better. Of course, at the same time, believing and knowing within that things are going to work out. I play with the world. You're being encouraged, Leo, to have a playful, um, youthful kind of mindset and way of viewing things this week. Um, allow yourself to have fun with whatever you wrap yourself up in. It'll help you also kind of shake off any sort of cobwebs from these secrets being resurfaced and some of, the, some of these emotions you're healing and working on, okay? Try to enjoy yourself this week as more and more doors start to open for you, my friend. So on that note, Leo, I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, and do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.